Well, the candidates for mayor made their closing arguments tonight in the final hours before Election Day. And while we will likely find out who the Republican candidate will be tomorrow night, we may not know who the Democratic nominee is for weeks to come. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis has more. The clock is ticking to Election Day, and New York City mayoral candidates are making a last-minute push for votes ahead of the primary, each taking a different approach Monday night. I am moved because this is a movement. Maya Wiley rallied with supporters on the steps of the Brooklyn Museum. I am moved because this is a miraculous city. And what makes it miraculous is all around us. Eric Adams appeared on a TV program streaming online where he was asked how he'd protect the immigrant community. And I'm going to make sure we go after gun violence and target those who are carrying illegal guns and using those guns. And I'm going to zero in on hate crime. Andrew Yang on the Upper East Side shaking hands and chatting with voters. People tell me all the time, we need a change, we need new leadership. People don't want a third de Blasio term. Despite campaigning with new ally Catherine Garcia, which was planned to continue Monday night, the two were split up by what we're told was a scheduling issue. Some people critical of your partnership. What's your message to those people? New Yorkers tell me all the time they want leadership that works together. I am all about getting people out to vote. We need a city that works for everyone. I have the track record. And earlier, Scott Stringer says he was encouraged by the response. This is the way you get elected mayor, one voter at a time. The latest Ipsos mayoral poll has Adams with 28 percent, Yang 20, Garcia 15, Wiley 13, Stringer 8, and undecided 6 percent. It could be weeks before we have a 100 percent final result. That's because for the first time in a citywide election, ranked choice voting will be used, choosing candidates in order of preference instead of picking just one. And counting takes time. But when polls close Tuesday, first place votes will be announced. If one candidate surpasses 50 percent of the vote, they're declared the winner, which isn't expected with so many candidates. So the process continues. The mayor said we're going to have to exercise a little patience here, something we're not particularly good at. On the west side, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. On the Republican side, there is no ranked choice voting for mayor because there are only two candidates, Fernando Mateo and Curtis Sliwa. And the polls open tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock. As always, they close at 9 p.m. as well. We have links on our website if you need help in finding your polling location. You can also learn more about ranked choice voting and see a sample ballot. All there for you at CBSNewYork.com.